So this is what we're feeding off uh, fish at the minute. Um, second bucket of this one. Really like this. It keeps the water really clear. Um, the fish seem to like it. And you get a nice big tub. This is from um, Amazon. It's a six kilo. And um, yeah, I really like that. And then we've got this one. Sinking pellet. And we've got this because we've got um, quite a few small fish that are trying to compete with the larger fish on the surface. So if we mix it, the feeder is mixed with both, then the little ones are getting food. The um, auto feeder is now set four times a day, every four hours. I think it's seven, 11, three, seven o'clock at night that's four isn't it and then obviously we're throwing bits in like over there with some sweet corn they're loving their sweet corn since we built this new pond it is so annoying trying to film the fish because of the reflection all the time it's really hard to film them even in the sh even when it's a dull day it's a nightmare so we went to the B BKKS on Sunday. Got to meet Twisted Coy, Vince, finally. Nice to see him and to see that he'd won his first show. Really pleased for him. Fish are doing well. Let's even get a picture of them, the new ones we got from so this one, or Sheba. This one is from my boys Koi at the BKKS show. Loving it. Always wanted an Oshiba. And we've named that one Autumn. Then we've got the Suzuki or Suzuki. Sorry if I've got the name wrong. We've got this one from my boys Koi as well. It's 41 centimetres. It comes with it's certificate. It's got a bit of a split fin there. Probably from transporting. I'm really pleased with that. Never really never bought one of them type before. So we did set out we weren't wanted a kahaku, but as as everybody knows, when you go you end up seeing something else. But this one's gorgeous. Can't wait to see how that one develops. Really pleased with it. So Chris picked that one, and I picked Susie down here. Lovely, bright red. Both very healthy fish. No problems with them, transporting them back or settling in the pond. What I found this year as well, we don't have the um, air bubbles on on the bottom drains this year and what a difference to the water clarity we have no poo sitting on the floor anymore in the corners um, water clarity is pretty good it's probably hard to see for this time of year considering it's you know we're feeding a lot but the clarity is so much better we do have an air stone underneath the Mackey shower give extra air but yeah so we won't, we won't be using them again and also it means we can enjoy the koi on the surface because when the air dome's on you can see absolutely nothing so again trying to film reflection it's terrible but as you can see they're all doing well we're going into July now this is July the 2nd and Kind of this bit of filming. Look at that new boy standing out. We did um, rehome a few biggins before we bought these two on uh, the north on Facebook on the North Wales Koi site. They were snapped up within an hour of advertising them on there. So that was good. 
Everything's running really good at the minute. Filters, they get um, cleaned every alternative day. So every second day, they're getting their ones getting cleaned. I've just done this one this morning, and this one will be due tomorrow. All running fine. Everything's okay here. Oh, here's our certificate. in once a month and then when I'm doing a water, uh, a water change just to top up the um, dechlorinator pods I put some of this in it's a powder it's much cheaper than the liquid dechlorinator that goes in as well got my little backup meds there in case um, anything goes wrong and Bella shouting her head off what you lost your ball again huh this dog is ball mad. This is Bella, French bulldog, and she's um, a right character. Where's your ball then? Oh, there it is. Let's get your ball. Okay. You get, if you give her a football, she tears it to bits within minutes. I think she's a retriever. Then you got Lulu. Lulu's five months now because our Chihuahua passed away, and we didn't want Bella to be on her own. Lulu, Lulu. Lulu, hello, say hello to YouTube, cutie, <coughs> Lulu is complete opposite to Bella, very laid back, very quiet, very chilled, aren't you, very behaved, <coughs> ears like a bat, <coughs> see, and then you got the nutter, aren't you, complete nutcase, so how are we getting on in the garden, the grass is a bit baldy, but for a tenner, seeding it what do you expect we'll re we'll redo the patches in the autumn when we close it off with the gate air source heat pump is set at 20 till the end of the season and to be fair it's been on a bit actually because of the weather okay little garden starting to build it up slowly got some roses in some lavender let that mature up now. We've got some aces this year. New ones. And pots. They're looking pretty nice. Okay. Like I said, um, hard to find content, isn't it, to put on YouTube unless you're making something, building something. And when the pond's as steady as ours now and mature, there's not much you have to do. Clean, water top up and feed and enjoy them really. Let's hope we get a bit of better weather, eh, before um, autumn turns up. Still not growing much in the backy shower. We have got some baby tears there, or is it baby mist? But, um, it's taking its time. Before. I'm 
um, Oshiba autumn. Beautiful um, netting on it. I've got a few other new ones. I'm not sure if I'm um, put them on YouTube. Got another another chaggy there. That's called Wally. So we've got Ollie, Dolly, and now Wally. It's a nice little um, chag as well. Pretty pale. Not sure if it's showing up on the camera. What else? Got that one, that's a new one. Yeah. That's it. up with you again at the end of July see how the um, pond's getting on see if any fish have grown Lolo this one always gets red in the summer last year we were like so stressed thinking it was ill thinking it had a bacterial infection whatever but no it just it doesn't I don't know if it doesn't like the water changes or the sun it always goes red and then in the winter it's fine again it's not showing any signs that it's ill or flicking or anything it just likes to get red pearl this black and white one starting to change colour coming into July it's getting more white losing its black a little bit I've had this fish years again it's never real. Right, so I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to mix these two into the feeder. And that's it. See you next time, guys. Happy ponding.